Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be playing Limb from Limb. This is a horror game ish in the style of another game by the name of Buckshot Roulette, which I think at the time of this video being uploaded should have had its official release. So I'm excited to play that once we get around to it. But first, welcome, let's play this. All of us here at the Raymond Mitchell Association want to thank you for your participation in our limb regrowth program. Your generous service helps us aid all of humanity. We understand if you're confused, but don't worry, you're not alone. Why would I be confused? There's another patient to keep you company in our facility, and they're very eager to meet you. <laughs> All we ask is that you play a game of chance with your new friend to determine the effectiveness of our procedure. There is a small penalty for losing, but luckily for you, the very nature of this program means you won't suffer any permanent damage. In the following room, you will see a game board representing the maze in our facility with the human statuette representing you. Your goal is to navigate through this maze and find a way out. But be careful, some tiles, represented by various colors, will initiate certain events, and you might not find all of them to be pleasant. A small cabinet has been provided for you to store all the useful items you come across. Hover over items to see their descriptions, and left click to move them on and off the provided medical tray. To equip them, be sure to use your items strategically, as once they are used, they are gone forever. In the case that you need to hear this message again, please feel free to replay it from the phonograph in the following room. Thank you, disembodied voice. Uh, all right. So we're a patient in a limb regrowth program. That's fun. That's awesome. Uh, I'm assuming the cabinet is where we keep all our items. We don't have to worry too much about that. This is our little thing over down to the lower left is a little gold uh, chest piece. I think that gives us an item for the yellow tiles. Yeah. Choose one item to add to your collection. Jack in a box, a box containing an unsurprising surprise. Forces your opponent to redraw their current hand. I don't know what that means yet. A matchbox containing a few matches. Keep dry. Burn all cards in your hand, rendering them unplayable and won't be added to the deck until after the battle. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll take matchbook. I don't know what that blue light is. I'm hesitant to go towards it. Oh, hello. During your encounters with the other patient, a standard 52 card deck will be placed before each of you, and each patient is allowed five cards in their hand. Luckily for you, since you're the challenger, you'll always start first. All revealed cards will be in the card pile off to the side. You will only be able to redraw once you've used all the cards in your hand. Of course, and your deck won't be shuffled until all cards have been sent to the disc. I didn't bring my matchbook. In each deck, there are 31 safe cards, 16 death cards, and 8 joker cards. Drawing a safe card allows you to pass your turn with no consequences. But if you draw a death card, you will unfortunately have to relieve yourself of one of your fingers. Oh. Additionally, for your convenience, there will be a monitor keeping track of the amount of death cards currently on the table. If three jokers are drawn, an execution will begin. Whoever draws with their joker has the option to choose either themselves or their opponent to have their current hand scanned. If you choose yourself, your hand will be scanned for death cards. If you have any death cards, they will be removed from your hand. If you do not possess any death cards, when you perform this action, one of your fingers will be singularly removed. The same is true for your opponent. Should you win the game, you will be returned to the game board. Should you lose all your fingers within an encounter, you will permanently lose two fingers and return to the board. Oh, that's not good. This procedure is still a work in progress after all. Regrettably, if you permanently lose all your fingers, you will no longer have the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful project. Wait, so you just leave me fingerless? Any fingers Wait, what? <laughs> that's messed up. Trade for items in the item shop, the location of which is noted in blue on the game board. You can see your collection of fingers and a jar located in the game board room cabinet. That's really messed up. It's just like, thank you for participating. You lost all your fingers. We're not going to help you regrow them as this project entails. Just get rid of them. Hey, buddy. How are you? Um, kind of creepy. I pulled a joker. There's three death cards on the table right now. Oh, oh, he really wanted that bite. He's really hungry. 
I have an infrared camera. A camera with the ability to detect heat signatures uses to reveal all cards currently in your hand. That's really strong. That's the second Joker. Ah, but he has... Okay, so either he has another death or I do. And I don't want to lose the limb. Aha! Uh, did that mean we lost a finger or did that just end the turn? Oh, okay. Well, we have three death cards on the table. Safe. Okay. Safe. Safe again. All right. I like being safe. There's death. Okay. That's another joker. Oh, super unlucky. And you're so, okay. Hey, you want to keep your face to yourself? Please. I'm safe. Play your last card. Sorry, but you've been removed from this project. Those things are absolutely terrifying. I guess I keep all their fingers. Yeah, that's what happens. All right, another free item. Pickled snake. I like infrared camera more. Another free item. Gives me back one of my fingers. Matchbook. Because my objective is to hopefully not lose any fingers at all. But if it happens, then I mean, I guess oh well, right? I'm like expecting the jump scare to come out of the distance. I really want to know what that blue light is. Locate the item shop. Ah, I see it's the item shop. Okay. Reveal a selected card's value. Discard all cards in your current hand. I don't want to buy anything from the shop right now. And I'm going to hope that the shop will have different items every so often. Items? I really can't go wrong with items. Higher foresight. That's terrifying. Okay, so there are four deaths on the table. Let's use the infrared camera. Okay, so we have two deaths and two jokers. That means they have two deaths and two jokers, which we can take that. These are their patients. I don't know if those are syringes or bolts. Anyway, here's a joker. Hopefully they don't have another joker. No, but they pulled their one death or their first death. Hopefully they don't pull the third joker. Or if they do, it's fine. They can't see my hand. <sighs> fine. This is burning these cards. Third Joker, let's go. I removed all the deaths from my hand. So the only one that's, or I think all of them or most of them. So you should only have one. Yeah, there we go. That means I have the last death on mine. Um, I mean, I guess we can lose a finger for now. Oh, oh my God. And I guess you pulled one too. There's three on the table. I don't know which ones are mine though. Oh no, I'm losing another one. Oh, oh. All right, there's two on the table. That's another joker. I'm safe. I'm, I'm like a freak. I don't want to keep seeing that. There we go. Please, 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 please. There's one on the table. And I'm hoping that that one is theirs, but it might be mine. I'm safe. Please be yours. Let's go. <laughs> I was actually super nervous. That's an MRI machine back there. So I don't know. It's like an abandoned hospital research facility that they're guising as something else, disguising as something else. I don't know. But all I know is that I'm going to come out of here. The winner forces the enemy to take another turn. Yeah, I'll take a wishbone. <sighs> another patient battle. Okay, we'll use our camera. Oh, easy. We don't have any jokers, so we can just keep playing our safes. So safe. That means they only have one death though. But that's okay because we can match book this. So that'll destroy these two deaths so that we know they have one. I still have two. So I'll use the eyeball. So that, so we know that's a death one. And yeah, our hand came back. So cool, we don't have to worry. Here, go again. I insist. Why are we crying? I mean, I guess it's like, this is just a terrifying experience, right? Especially with whatever the hell these things are. I'm just gonna call them homunculi for now. <gasps> they have three. They have three death cards. No, my, oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, four, you know, one of them's ours, three. So we know one of them's still ours and they have two. We know this card for us is safe. Okay, their last two cards 
are gonna cost them two fingers we can lose another one Ugh. we're also bruising we know that's a death card for them okay so we have two how many do they have <gasps> they also have two no i mean they we win we win anyway oh no oh oh, oh that's just terrible all right okay but we win oh i feel like i'm the one in pain okay we have no items so we can only get by on luck and pure skill. Although we can go to the item shop. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to the item shop. Oh, infrared camera. Reveal an enemy card and reveal all enemy cards. Yeah, we'll we'll buy all that. I think buying all that's gonna be really good for us. So you know. All right, there's three on the table. Hopefully none of them are ours. Okay, they have two. That's good. I'll play our safes first because we don't want them to have the third joker if they have one. Okay. There we go. It doesn't get any easier, man. I get it. You ever think about that game that people used to play in school? Uh, we both lose one. Where yeah, people used to take like a, a knife or a pencil or whatever and like hit it between their fingers. I feel like somebody saw a buckshot roulette and it was like, okay, but what if we made that with a card game? I, I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay. So there's five death cards on the table. I need to know how many of ours. Three. Okay, we don't have to worry. They only have three fingers anyway. So we come up winning. Yeah, having that information is really good. Maybe I take back what I said earlier where I didn't really care. We learn, we grow. We uh, regrow our limbs too. Oof. So like it locks your camera into place so you can't even look away. Uh, okay. All right, fine. Let's just gonna regrow our index and our thumb back. It's fine. And our middle finger. Yeah. Oh, we win. See, we're not permanently losing our fingers anytime now. Ooh, what's this cross? When used, a single death card will be removed from your current hand, if any absolutely i'll take that that's awesome that just basically means that we have one free set like free run all right Ooh. so we use the check in the box to make them redraw they're gonna get like super spooked they're gonna be like oh god i have to redraw all my cards i want to see this card so that's your death let's use the cross by the power vested in me reveal thine self and be gone death card i got music with that too Cool. Okay, so they pulled their death card. There should be two on the field and they're both mine. It's not good. Yo, take your fa personal space, buddy. I think they only have one finger though. So we should be fine. Seriously, man, back up. We're getting, we're getting pretty close. We're getting pretty close. They, they, they don't have any. There's two death cards in the field and I'm pretty sure they're both mine. So they also have two. No, no, whoever draws the next death card, please. <gasps> let's go we don't lose our fingers oh my god i was like right down to the wire i thought i was gonna lose everything i was gonna basically be like you know a stub hand and i mean it would have been really cool because they make really fun prosthetics that like people get to like wear and stuff but then i would have like had to learn how to use them and that would have been really inconvenient having to learn a new skill when i barely even know what's going on all because i entered onto this project and suddenly they're like you failed keep your stub hand somebody's gonna be like what are you talking about bro both of these cards are their death cards get ready for the camera to jerk us around oh all this is different now okay i think we got super lucky this time i i think i think we did oh okay all we had was an infrared camera. No, I don't have any items for this. We might actually lose fingers here, y'all. Two death cards in the field. Okay, we can live with this. We can live with this. All right, one. Hopefully it's theirs. Okay, Joker, we're still safe. Hopefully that death card is theirs. And it is. <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> it's a game of chance. That's all it is. We have nothing to manipulate it right now. Okay, so there's two Jokers. Three. No, this isn't fair. Lose your finger. Okay. Thank you. Goodness, we didn't have to choose ourselves, but now I don't know who has what. Okay, that's not fair. Ugh. Dude, put your tongue away. Okay, so they drew deaths. So there's two on the table now. Put your tongue away. Personal, but dude, you, none of you, none of you know anything about personal space. I'm sorry for what I'm putting you through. Also, I'm glad you brush your teeth. 
Good night. We got we got out of that pretty damn good. Oh. So there's no death cards on the table right now. If we pull a Joker, we're fine. If they pull a Joker, we're not fine. Because basically it's whoever has Joker right now. I think they drew three. So I think I'm safe this turn two, which then we win. Nope. I misread. I mean, uh, oh no. I'm, my favorite. Oh, surely. Surely we'll be okay. Oh, let's go. We know they have. We don't know if we do. No, we did it to ourselves because we didn't have the information. And no, we have three. You wiping off your mouth? I'm going to pull that card. It's going to be death. And that means we win yet again. Why would we do this willingly? I wonder if we could do this in one shot. Yeah, we, we're going to get the stapler. A for the steam achievement, but also <laughs> just in case we lose a finger, we could just bring it back real quick. But yeah, you see all of these symbols here have basically been like there's combat nearby. I think that's how it's like meant to indicate. That's just my current speculation. I can just be completely insane. I'm sipping some really, really hard copium, but I'm going to test that theory. It didn't work. I don't know what I have. So, oh no, death. Oh, take another turn real quick. Please, I insist. It's my only wish. Thank you. We're going to use the stapler to bring my finger back. Oh. Hey, it's like new. Oh, come on. I just stapled it back together. No. Oh. They have to have the last one, right? Did we have all three? Please say no. Oh, thank goodness. Sweet gracious. Okay. They have one. Okay, that means they have one and we have two or we have one unless it really did shuffle all the hands nope oh, it's a game of chance that's all it is they have one we have two no this isn't good please okay no please give them a really bad hand come on it's four they have four they have four oh we're so we're, we're so back we're so back we're winning not a single thing can go wrong i am not losing fingers nobody would even believe me if i told them how i lost them like what do i say do i say that i i i signed up for a secret regrowth limb program and they cut off all my fingers like nobody's gonna believe that oh thank you i'm sorry i have to do this to you but i must win infrared camera uh, please give me another item area with matchbook <gasps> please please i beg you yes with matchbook like i said we're gonna assume that that's combat <gasps> we got the exit without ever actually losing that can we leave wait we were one of the monsters the entire time <gasps> oh no that's a good twist actually it's a hard mode <laughs> that's cool yeah that was a good twist um there's uh, another ending i think if you lose uh, i don't want to play through the whole game just to try to purposely lose but anyway go download the game for yourselves the link's gonna be in the description down below thank you guys again for watching i really do appreciate it anyway have a good one stay awesome stay beautiful and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace i'm out <laughs>